Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, uh, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Friday's trading session, the 24th of November 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com, and uh, you can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay. Now let's uh, look at the uh, the actual European stats today. Certainly in the negative this morning on the back of Mnuchin's comments and Trump's comments as well. Mr. Mnuchin indicating um, uh, the uh, no additional uh, tax cut details until August. So again, not exactly good in terms of uh, providing clarity. Although the stock markets thus far have, have ignored uh, any of that uh, uh, that rhetoric. Um, certainly uh, on the expectations or hopium of uh, further. Uh, gains higher given the fact that we are at all-time highs also mr trump's criticism of china being a currency manipulator, manipulator overnight as well certainly hurting sentiment too okay right in terms of um, the markets overnight the asian markets you're the shanghai certainly higher although the hang seng certainly down and the nikkei down too in terms of european markets today certainly uh, finding or feeling the pinch you have the FTSE down uh, 40 odd points, the DAX down 130, the CAC down 60, FTSE MIB down a whopping 200 points, so certainly indicating risk aversion. Uh, so far, the markets have been um, totally, um, shall we say, um, uh, oblivious to any type of risk, whether it be political risk in France, whether it be um, political risk in the Netherlands or Germany, etc., etc., even whether it's a uh, stronger euro. Uh, the market's so, t totally oblivious to any type of risk or any risk aversion, uh, and the markets have constantly, constantly been moving higher. Again, you have to respect that to a large extent, given the fact that the market certainly is uh, is, is certainly in a, in a potential bullish mode. Uh, and, and really, it's, it's, whether you can attribute it to low volume, whether you want to attribute it to opium in terms of tax cuts, the it's been a one-way market. And finally, we've, we're seeing some sort of balance, okay, and, th and that's certainly healthy going forward uh, in terms of the market. Uh, also, with regards to uh, European equities in terms of uh, economic data uh, out this morning, really overall positive French consumer confidence certainly coming in line. Uh, industrial sales in Italy certainly coming out stellar, impressive uh, as well. Uh, industrial orders certainly coming in stronger too. And uh, that really is a summation of European data this morning. Again, it's all, a bit, it's all about Mr. Mnuchin's comments uh, with regards to uh, lack of details of further stimulus um, uh, in terms of fiscal policy. Also, Mr. Uh, Trump's comments overnight in terms of uh, labelling China a currency manipulator and obviously starting a potential trade war. Again, this is all uh, certainly interesting, but that's been there for the last two or three months, and yet the markets have been totally oblivious to it. So today the markets have finally decided that they want to actually pay attention, and the market has started to move lower. Okay, Now let's look at the actual technical picture. Let's start with the German DAX first and foremost, looking at the daily chart here. Okay, so we're looking, we're looking to potentially close the gap now at 11,700 after breaking 12,000. So uh, an impressive sell-off. I mean, 250 points lower from the uh, pivot high. Okay, 60-minute chart of the German DAX again. Fails to hold previous resistance equal support. Fails to hold uh, pivot S3 support as well. So the whole rally itself was built on sand to a large to a large extent. Okay, 10-minute chart of the German DAX. You can see that we're continuing to move higher and we're not stopping at all. Uh, very impressive. Okay, in terms of the um, the actual uh, CAC, let's look at the CAC now. CAC certainly flushing low, even with the Mr. Macron's statement about cutting taxes, fiscal policy, or fiscal stimulus. Yet yeah, the market certainly has been oblivious to that, and we are certainly moving lower regardless. Okay, you have taken out that key support zone at the 4844. You've taken out pivot S3. You're into gap fill support now. Whether or not gap fill holds, this is another question. Let's see how the market reacts. Again, if the market continues to flush, then the next potential sub uh, gap fill is at 4760. So watch out for 4760 support. Okay, in terms of the uh, FTSE 100 daily chart, you can see that uh, uh, after that doji top, certainly have flushed quite powerfully. Okay, on the daily chart perspective, if you do break lower, you are now into that support at 7206, 7205. Watch out for that on the daily chart. 60 minute chart, you're into that FIB 200 MA. You are into previous resistance equal support. So you're looking for a potential bounce in the FTSE 100 here. 10 minute chart on the FTSE, you've put a bottoming tail in that uh, 7217. Certainly looking for that bottoming tail to hold and then looking for a thrust on the FTSE 100. In terms of euro stocks, let's bring up the euro stocks too, because as everything seems to be flushing today, 
the daily chart, the euro stocks, you can see that we held that potential double top and the market's been flushing ever since. 60 minute chart, we failed to hold this key support at 3305, 3306, 3300. And now we're looking to potentially hold that support at 3290, previous resistance equals support. So we'll see how the market fares at that juncture. Okay. Uh, and again, it certainly seems to be a risk off mode today. We've certainly ignored the rally in US equities as US equities start to uh, fold on given the uh, Mnuchin comments and uh, Mr. Trump's comments overnight. It certainly seems to be dominating. So the market certainly is uh, is no longer in snooze mode. OK, is actually paying attention to uh, bearish fundamental news that's been there since the start, folks. I mean, this this news is nothing new. It's been here, been there since November, but we've chose to uh, obviously hit new highs and uh, everybody's willing to buy the Ponzi scheme, really. it's uh, It really is that simple. This news is nothing new. It's been there since the start. Uh, I've, I'd argue it's been there since November, December, January. And yet now in February, we finally decide that we want to sell off on that. Mr. Trump has, has labelled China a, a currency manipulator for months now. Uh, really, he's just reiterated that. Mr. Mnuchin uh, has said nothing new in terms of fiscal policy. We've all known that there is nothing really substantial in terms of... Uh, tax cuts coming forward but everybody's been willing to buy this ponzi scheme so finally it's unraveling let's see if it unravels or whether or not the they keep the market higher on that note please be sure to visit uh, uh, cfds.com for your trading needs and we'll certainly take advantage of that to bonus goodbye